Hello, dear friends. We can find surprises even on Sundays. Opinion piece. A Chinese defector rebuilt everything. He collaborates with the Defense Intelligence Agency. This explains the sudden crisis of confidence with Dr. Fauci. Has direct knowledge of China's exotic weapons program. China's artificial intelligence is capable of writing poems and creating recipes. Anonymous threatens Elon Musk for manipulating the price of Bitcoin. New UFO report won't be the last step, says Senator Rubio. The color of the Ganges River turns green, spreading panic in India. Endgame approaching after a cyber tax fails, says Sorja Fall. Let's start. A person believed to be among the highest ranked defectors in US history from the People's Republic of China has been collaborating with the Defense Intelligence Agency for months. Jennifer Ballard inside the intelligence community wrote to Red State on condition of anonymity. The defector has direct knowledge of special weapons programs in China, those sources say. The information provided to Red State corroborates and clarified Thursday night's reporting by journalist Adam Housley. The sources told Red State that the defector has been with the agency for three months and has provided an extensive and technical detailed report to U.S. officials. In the agency's assessment, the information provided by the defector is legitimate. The sources say that the level of confidence in the defector's information is what has led to a sudden crisis of confidence with Dr. Fauci, and added that the staff at the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Disease, inf Diseases inf Infectious as it, it's um, a bad translation, have control corroborated highly technical details of the information provided by the defector. Sorcha Fall has said that the endgame is approaching because the attempt to drag the West into a new totalitarian normal has failed and all cyber attacks on the vital infrastructure of the West are also failing. Trump denounces Fauci and China in rare, in rare public outing. The former president on Sunday sharply attacked the controversial doctor over his handling of the health crisis, demanded reparations from China and mocked Facebook's zeal. China rejects accusations. China has criticized a US investigation, saying Washington is not interested in finding out the truth, in quotes. It doesn't want any scientific investigation. This is just a political game, an attempt to put the blame on others and throw out of it its responsibility. German study finds blockade had no effect. A major new study by German scientists at the University of Munich has found that the blockades had no effect. The Munich University statisticians found no dour, in quotes, no direct connection between the German blockade and the fall in rates in the country. The Telegraph reports. China. China's artificial sun sets world record of 120 million degrees for 101 seconds. China's goal is to develop clean energy sources throughout next generation nuclear fusion technology. Chinese researchers have set a new world record after scientists developed an artificial sun and ran the device on Friday at a record of 120 million degrees Celsius for more than 100 seconds. The experiment was conducted at the Institute of Plasma Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Hefei China. China's artificial intelligence is capable of writing poems and generating recipes, 
specialist at the Artificial Intelligence Academy, Academy in Beijing, China, this presented this week the world's most sophisticated natural language processing model, which uses 1.75 trillion parameters to simulate conversational speech, write poems, understand images, and even generate recipes, reports the South China Morning Post. 6G to arrive in 2030. Global commercialization of 6G technology could begin around 2030, according to a group set up two years ago at the initiative of China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Biden says the US and Europe, not China, should set the rules. The US and Europe, not China, should set the rules for international trade and technology, the president said in an article for the Washington Post, published Saturday, on the eve of his visit to the old continent. The president stressed that the world's leading democracies will be able to offer a high-level alternative to the Asian giant to improve physical, digital and health infrastructures that are more resilient and support global development. Digital world. Windows 11 arrives. Microsoft could present its next generation operating system to the public. Bill Gates' company is expected to offer details of the new operating system at a virtual event to be held on June 24th in May. Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, told the Build 2021 technology conference that his employees are working on one of the most important updates to Windows in the last decade, in quotes. Bitcoin will be legal tender in El Salvador. El Salvador wants to be the first nation in the world to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. Salvadoran President Nayib Bukele announced. Anonymous threatens Elon Musk for manipulating the price of Bitcoin and showing content for an average working person. Members of the group claimed that reading comments on the entrepreneur's twice account, Twitter account, it seems, in quotes, it seems that the games he has played with crypto markets have destroyed lives. Close quotes. The cyber activists group Anonymous released a video Saturday in which it threatened Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk charging the entrepreneur for manipulations of the value of Bitcoin. Curious news. The color of the sac sacred river Ganges turns green in India, spreading panic among residents of Uttar Pradesh. The Ganges is considered a sacred river in India and thousands of people bath in it every day. According to the Indian government, there are around 4,500 villages on the banks of the Ganges, which flows throughout several states in the country. The whole river Ganges has changed color to green, which has caused panic among the inhabitants of the state of Uttar Pradesh. According to locals, the river turns light green during the rainy season due to the heavy influx of mosses and lichens from ponds and lakes but this time the color change has been to a greater extent. It smells bad and people are suffering. I think it is because of contamination. Revolutionary vertical floating laboratory designed to study the dangerous waters of the Antarctic cycle. Powered solely, solely by the circumpolar current, the polar pot will sail around Antarctica for three years carrying out a series of research and measurements. Renowned, renowned French scientist and explorer Jean-Louis Etienne, who made history by becoming the first man to reach the North Pole solo in 1986, has designed a huge, a huge revolutionary floating laboratory specifically designed to withstand the dangerous waters of the Antarctic cycle. Aeronautics. United Airlines orders 3 billion worth of supersonic jets.
United Airlines Inc. is flying into the well of supersonic trouble and has announced a commercial agreement with Denver-based aerospace company Boom Supersonic to add 15 supersonic passenger jets with the option to purchase 35 at a later date. United said that the planes are capable of much 1.7, nearly twice the speed of the fastest passenger aircraft. It will travel from Newark to London in just three and a half hours, Newark to Frankfurt in four hours, and San Francisco to Tokyo in just six hours. Electric backup helicopter. Australia based startup Copter Pack released a new YouTube video that appears to be an electric backpack helicopter flying for the first time. The lightweight fuselage is constructed from a carbon fiber panel with two propellers on either side of the operator, lifting the person into the air. The video shows the flight and how stable the electric backpack helicopter is, all thanks to its self-leveling autopilot. Judging from the video, there is no tail rotor as the operator adjusts the two main propellers with a joystick to control them. Next UFO report won't be the last step in investigation into mysterious encounters. Rubio says, the Republican senator asked not to let UFO stigma get in the way of the country's national security. Florida Republican senator Marco Rubio said the upcoming report unidentified aerial phenomena witnessed and caught on the tape by the U.S. Army will not be the last step in a serious investigation into the matter. In quotes, men and women who we have entrusted with the defense of our country are reporting encounters with unidentified aircraft with superior capabilities, Rubio told Fox News. Um, in quotes again, we cannot allow the stigma of UFOs to prevent us from seriously investigating this. The upcoming report is one step in that process, but it won't be the last, he added. Message from James Gillam. The galactic core of Central Sun is connected to all the other suns, and consciousness and energy flow throughout those connections, becoming exp exponentially stronger. Did you know that there are beings of light in the sun? NASA has pictures of them, and they are replete throughout our ancient history, known as the sun gods. Our sun is bombarding us with coronal mass ejection after coronal mass ejection, one after another. The Schumann resonance has been elevated in, the, in its scale. There are explosions in several dormant volcanoes or mountain pressure releases and a series of earthquakes. We are going to see many symptoms, aches, pains, discomfort, extreme lethargy, along with emotional outbursts as these energies continue to come in. Some call this ascension sickness. In the spiritual community, it is called energy sickness. Too much energy coming in, suppressing the chakras with blocks and not being able to ground. There will be an increase in several weather, lightning, lightning and the storm, storms never seen before. There will be also an increase in seismic and volcanic activity worldwide. As we speak, people are fleeing new eruptions. On a political scale, we are descending into the last day of the tyrants. They are not specific frequencies of new earth energies. Their actions are being made known for all and see, and their karma is accelerating. It is finally here, an event that so many people of moral character and integrity have been waiting for. The rollout has begun. Although many arrests have already been made and justice has been dispatched by the military courts, it is finally coming to light in the public arena. Those who have been watching the theater with keen eyes have been scratching their heads. In the days ahead, the light will prevail. What is pressing upon the earth is an unstoppable force.
the great spirit and the beautiful servants of the Creator within all of creation are passing exponentially along with the spiritual and technologically advanced of welders. Benevolent inner earth beings are also participating in the planetary awakening, healing and liberation. The White Hats, or what some call Patriots, are the ground crew, even if they don't know where their inspiration comes from. We all need to get on the right side on the fence and do our part. From tyranny to liberation. With all this extreme chaos that is currently occurring, many do not realize that it, it is coming from a well controlled structure. Humanity is having their own victim patterns used against them and manipulated into emotional storms of hate and violence in the service of the very people they claim to be against, completely unaware of their controllers according to Terry Wade. What many people don't, suck, don't ask themselves is who are the dividers, who are the profiteers, who sit at the top of the pyramid of war and disease. They own their religions, politicians, media and monetary systems. What many do not understand is that they also own your mind and the last thing they want is for you to take the red pill. This information that this causing the human awakening is the red pill. Even when you think you know the truth, there are always layers of operations, twists and turns, manipulation and psychological operations designed to manipulate your beliefs. These off-world controllers have done a brilliant job of dividing humanity, including funding both sides of every war going back to Napoleon. These controllers hide behind the guise, the guise of religion that demonizes and sponsors harm, harm outside of universal law upon the human species. Our history has been one of great manipulation. The only way humanity is going to move beyond this enslavement by these off-world entities and their dark agenda is to reveal it. We need to overcome this low vibrational reality that has put a veil over our eyes. This current transition and the global chaos we are experiencing will finally free us from this tyranny. We need to erase the past and the ignorance and heal the collective trauma, revealing our history and how truly everything on earth has unfolded is the solution to world peace. We need to know who is and has been perpetuating this fear, guilt, indignity, class separation, etc. And who are these hierarchies of power and wealth? It all goes back to our real ancient history, and that history leads to the world. People need to know that the war has been waged for millions of years for total control of Earth between the Anunnaki, the Draconians and various benevolent races, including the Pleiadians. To this day we have been under Draconian law or what some people call the Draconian Arconian greed. Why is there so much pain, suffering, sacrifice, war, disease, racism and senseless death? All these inhuman acts are sponsored by these non-human, otherworldly entities. Basically, there has been an all-out war against creation by these sick people and their anti-human agenda. It is time to wake up and grow up and end the ignorance. This is the solution to personal freedom. The incredible mismanaged dispersion of human wealth and enslavement must be told truthfully, otherwise it will continue. The revelation of these invisible maneuverable entities, known as Archons, need to be revealed. This particular information will be extremely difficult to, for many. There will be that time when humanity will be told that we have been manipulated, enslaved by some very dark and negative off-world influence. These Archons are the puppet masters behind the mega elite who make the decisions of the bankers, the politicians and most religious leaders, all and all who will do whatever they want. They have been brainwashed. 
to play the sinister game, but the game is about to end. What is difficult for many to understand is that this galactic war has been going on in the fourth dimension and is now spreading into three dimension, hence our current situation. That is why you hear many say the war has already been won. It is now unfolding in our reality. It is our turn. But we all know that it is much more complicated than this explanation. This galactic war is being waged by these draconians and other negative ET races against the Pleiadians, Arcturians and Andromedans, etc., that will ultimately cleanse and cleanse Earth from their control. Earth is the last stronghold and we are seeing these archons that the last dying breath. We are seeing the actual crumbling of this dying draconic grid. This is a transdimensional war and it has or already been won. These armies of God are multidimensional and have their ships. Some of the ships are physical, energetic, of magnetized light. Like their ships, some of these beings are physical, pure light energy or magnetized light bodies. You do not need to worry about the alien ships and races that are coming. You need to worry about the ones that have already been here. These negative ET races that went out of universal law are being removed. Some are being rehabilitated and some are being set, sent back to their home planet and some will be recycled back to source. There are many players in this monumental undertaking for the liberation of Earth. The Pleiadians, who made significant background in human, animal and plant genetics and were main terraformers in, uh, of Earth in our ancient past, who also created the colonies of uh, uh, Lemuria and Mu and Atlantis, will play a major role in the process of Earth's restoration. Earth was never intended to go in a negative direction. It was meant to be an Eden where all inhabitants could evolve to their full potential. Earth was hijacked and Earth is about to be reconciled. We are seeing photos and incredible captures of ships arri arriving all over the world and this is just the beginning. Fasten your seatbelts. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.